Hi, my name is Nienke and today we're gonna uh, shave a mullet-like haircut. So on the sides we will shave a bit and we will also color it in maybe purple, yes. a bit yellow. Especially the fringe. Yes. yes. And uh, on the back we keep it very long. Yeah, yeah. but layered. But layered, yes. Yeah, yes so yes. you get a real mullet. Yes. <laughs> Will you turn so you can see that yeah. you can see how your hair is? Yeah. Is it very still, long again? <laughs> yeah, there's still some dreads in your hair. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Pop Marley loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start on you. <laughs> Leuk hè? Mm. Mooi helder dit beeld is. Hello yeah. friends on YouTube. Got me a model again. Now she wants the extreme hairstyle, so first I pin up the hairs, then I give her a cape. Start of course, as always, with protection. She holds long hair, but I still use paper just to protect, uh, of course, for little hairs that come into the clothes, but also to um, have every time a clean cape. But if I would use this cape on another one, this cleave, then her skin never touches the uh, grease of the other that was before her because always it's clean. Free the hair, take and leave your garden brush. Now her hair is a little bit layered but not much. Start with parting. Got to be aware of the threads, the lay in the underlines. We had a bit. <laughs> Starting in the center of the skull, straight on top, by parting, and take a straight line down till I get behind the ear. Show you that in a second. But there's the side. So I start on top, take a straight line down, till behind the ear, and lay the rest aside. The part to part was being shaved. She never had it before. Very excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the cat is popping! <laughs> so she gets a large fridge afterwards. Mm -hmm. I lay also this side aside. Now you can see what's natural. This is a little bit smaller than this side. But that's just natural because the hair grows more to the front in the face on the left side than on the right side. So there is the difference. The only thing I can do is part on the ears because that will certainly be the guiding point. So turn a bit. And now she gets uh, all kinds of uh, feelings. <laughs> Here we go. Take my clipper comb off. Put my blades to the back. How do you feel the clip? It's very soft. Yeah. <laughs> Let take a small clipper and clean the contour line. One side to go to the other side. Turn it. Now this is the part that's a little bit thicker. Like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. <laughs> all 
already put my clipper comb on, put my blade to the front, so I have the shortest position, go in and go to the parting line and get out by there. Take off my clip, comb, put it in the longest position, so to the back, clean the control line, take my small clipper, set out a nice control line, and now the side shapes are done. Very small. Exactly. So you see that the frame of a skull becomes small. So that's also very nice. Now I take out the parts, where well, part of of course, I lay them as the frames will be. What else of course? And this will be bleached out because then we can work with colors. She likes. And she likes yellow and uh, purple colors. The violet purple. Now I noticed she, she saw sent me a photo of what she likes, so I know what she likes. I had echt zoiets van uh, ik ga een nieuw leven opstarten in een nieuwe huis. Ja, leuk. En uh, ik ben ook een spirituele opleiding aan het doen uh, dit jaar. Ik dacht, let's go. Yeah. Nieuw leven, nieuwe haar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoe kort wil je hem eigenlijk hebben? Um, George? De pony. Uh, ja, want hij wordt een beetje zo, hè? Dan. Gewoon dat hij hierop aansluit. Ja. Heb je een korte pony van? Ja, dat, dat mag wel. Groeit ook uit. Ja, zeker. Nou, we decided uh, which length she wants on, uh, on the fridge. Take myself a sharp scissor, of course. Yeah. Starting in the center line. Watch where the clip has been. Of course, watch it, I don't cut into the armor lines. So stay away from the clipper part. The center of the fringe I will thin out a bit because it's a very thick part. But also that has, has some style. I'll show you the difference in the front between the left side and the right side. It looks like my line a bit. Now I start in the back because I can see of course my kiting line. Die komt ook nog misschien. Deze week? Ja. Yeah. Ja, ja, ja. ja, zeker. Dus zij kent mij ook nog als een persoon dat ja, dit nooit zou doen. <laughs> Measure the length. And they are the same. This part will be bleached out.
Now this part is a little bit thick, so I thin this out a bit. So I get the same amount of hair. Everywhere. So now I can start on the length. Okay, coming to the later part. Now I start again on the ear. The first go in and on the line from ear to ear. Because she lost layers on top, and now all the length is almost the same. Because when you see this length, it's laying on the same length almost as the rest of the hair. I take this first. And I'm not going to work in this way, I'm going to work in the opposite way. So where's the hairs? And to get that mullet feeling, you have to have some layering in it. But that's why I take it first to the other side. Hold this line as it is, set a clip on it. Do you see the nice thread laying? So take this hair to the front. So I know where I'm going. En die laag wordt dus niet te kort, want die komt heel mooi op je andere laag te liggen. Ah, oh, oké. Okay. En dan komt dat ik hem zo ga knippen daar. Nou, wat ik doe is, take away from the ears, the first line, and pin this aside. So I hold myself a line to the front. So I can make two layers in one line. This is the part that gives that feeling of having um, the mullet. What I told you, making it has certain that it's wet. Turn a bit. Take the hairs to the side. Point at the chin. Go gently down. Of course, do the same on the other side. Take both sides on each other. Watch at the length. It's almost the same. Knowing that this is the thickest part. I go for this one once more and turn it out a little bit in the end. Don't forget this length lays totally to the back. Get to the second layer. This I hold the way it is. Where it of course. This may have some length, a bit more length than the top. So take all the hairs over the natural roundings, hold them that way, go in with the tip of my knife. And just watch on her skull and go about 10 centimeters lower than the chin is by watching through the hairs. I do this with a hot knife just because I don't want to damage the hairs. And they always stay in the best condition this way. Correct the line a bit. I hardly have to do anything because this knife travels through there that easy. Just hold it on the hairs and just slide through. 
Now I'll take the back with it. Take out the clip. Go over the center. Lay the thread aside. Of course, both threads. It's also a thread hiding between the heads. I don't know where. But I can't find me that. So it sticks out. So I have the threads aside. Those I hold on the back of the cake. Take my Olivia garden brush again, again of course. Lay the hairs again over the neck. Show you that. Now you can see also the dress laying. See where the natural, where the line is of cutting is here. So now I know that I have to start there, and I get into the underlines, holding the line of the hairs in the center line. Take away, of course, part of the underlines because they're dry. Do the same on the other side. What the hairs? Because this I need to seal the hairs. Start where I ended. Take the hairs to the center line in front of the skull. Go in and gently go down. And holding the length. Of course, I can always correct it on when the hair is laying to the back. Draw all the hairs back. Take out the clips of the threads, pin my cake to the side so I have a straight line to work on. I also have a large flap, so for use that also you can always take a large flap, lay it on the shoulders, take the heads on it. Go off to my Livia garden brush again. Dan ligt het lekker wat haar. Ja, dat is echt heel veel haar. Kom de haars. Of course, be aware of the threads. You can see a thread between this. Lay to the original line. Because it was hiding. Also on this thread. It's almost the same line and I don't have to be this line because it's the shortest line so I can lay this aside. So I go on my knees, bend her head a bit to the front. This I do because the curve that the skull makes all the hairs in the most wonderful line. Take the fine part of my comb, go in the underline and take away only about a centimeter hair. connected to the line of the layering. Oh, you can see it. You could hear the hissing of the blade. So now I have nice layering, a lot of layering in the upper lines, short. So I can build this up. This is the cut for so far. Start coloring. 
Now I take a gel. <coughs> and first make a glue line on the long hair. Also not gonna bleach the sides because they will look like a shadow afterwards. But I need some gel to glue my plastic aluminium foil on because short hair otherwise yeah, I get jumpy. I don't want that. And I take a real gluey gel. Take, I take a foil, wave one, from one part to the other part. So now I can freely work on my hair. Major bleach. Major bleach with 6%, that's 20 volume. A blue bleach of glint. And I put in a little bit um, black bleach of raw fair. Then I take up the hairs and lay them on the foil. I'm making sure the foil doesn't slip away. Take myself a carton wick. <laughs> Lay this on the part where I don't want to get into the short hair. And then I knot the plastic foil. We're going to wait for certainly 20 minutes. And then, of course, we'll back, show you the color blonde she has, but also what I'm going to do because this part will be uh, afterwards violet and golden yellow. Don't go away. <laughs> After 30 minutes from rinse it out, then in the length I put a conditioner before I rinse out the blood. So you can see the colors travel a little bit into each other, but that will be gone after putting on the next color. So in the same line as I started, lay the blonde hair to the front and the red hair to the back. Adding the long hair to the back and the short hair to the front. Now take again a little bit of uh, gel, just to glue it on the hairs. Starting with laying on the foil, knowing that I want to have a part yellow and a part violet. So clip it on the line. Starting with the violet. And violet I made a little bit softer by putting in an ultra soft um, with lavender look. So the violet is not totally purple. And now I'm going to work from the center and lay all the hairs on the foil. Because I want to leave a part that can be called yellow in the underlines. And I part to the sides, so I travel out of the side with the violet color. So the softest part of the yellow is also on the sides. So I travel like this, put it a little closer. So I will have on the line into the blonde colors, in the golden blonde, and up the line the little bit violet. Normally these are opposite colors in the color lines. Moet het van jou? Ja. Doe dat ook mee.
Ja, een beetje in de weg zitten. Een beetje is goed. Zo, nou onder violet is allemaal her. Dan dat ik een uh, white white roll. Dat is yellow color. Stay away of course, of the violet color. And this has to stay on the hairs for 15 minutes. Then lock it and rinse it out, lock it. So it stays for a longer time. On the normal hair it doesn't do anything, or almost nothing. It's the best to work on bleached hair. So don't go away, we'll be certainly back. Mm -hmm. Back from coloring, after 15 minutes rinse it out, put a lock into the color so it stays longer into the hairs. Now I want to power up this hair a bit, so I use uh, of the glint line a volume spray. First I blow drying of course, well, it uh, smells a bit like uh, green tea. Yeah. Yeah. I know that smell. Mm. Green tea with lemon. Yeah. Starting in the neckline, building up to the front, because it takes a long time to dry your hair. And I'm certain that the dress will never dry. Mm. It takes a, a day or something like that. I have to put them in the market to run. Yeah. <laughs> Heel mooi is die lavendel mm hier. -hmm. So far blow drying. Voor mij is het niet. Now I want to power up this uh, top, take a little bit of uh, uh, rover hair, you know the angel. Take the hairs up. And add some volume. And the nice thing of the dirty angel is that you don't have to force anything. It makes uh, combing against a lot easier to do. I think this is rough enough. Then I'll gently play with the hairs. Now make this not too stiff, so I take a flexible hairspray. Leuk is dat hij iets classics heeft. Ook super, super mm -hmm. is. Mm 
this jolly jolly good Christmas. <laughs> okay, so far cutting and coloring. I thank you for being my mom. I thank you for watching. Take out the cape so you can see the end result. So we see each other next video. And she will certainly turn around to show you the end result. Bye bye. Ja, doe maar een rondje. Thank you very much. Thank you too. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nienke and today we're gonna uh, shave a mullet like haircut. So on the sides we will shave a bit and we will also color it in maybe purple. Yes. A bit yellow. Especially the French. Yes. yes. And uh, on the back we keep it very long. Yeah. yeah. But layered. But layered, yes. Yeah, yes. so yes. you get a real mullet. Yes. <laughs>